The president attracted a big crowd in a part of Pennsylvania where he is popular, and he put on a Saturday night show for his supporters. He was on stage more than an hour, and he brought all the braggadocia, the punchline name-calling, the riffs from the campaign, reliving his greatest moments, and yes, he talked about some current events. The president was there to help a congressional candidate he acknowledged is in a tough race, in part reflecting on him. In full campaign mode. Hello, Pittsburgh. Hello, Pittsburgh. President Trump was there to make a pitch for Republican congressional candidate Rick Saccone. We need him. We need Republicans. Running in a district, Trump carried by double digits, putting pressure on both of them to deliver. He's got a tough race. I think we won by 22 points. And Rick, you know, look, it's a crazy time out there. But this raucous rally was really about him talking about his surprise decision to personally meet with North Korea's Kim Jong-un. I may leave fast or we may sit down and make the greatest deal for the world. The president said his tough stand pushed North Korea to make new promises to ratchet down their aggression. They're not sending missiles up. And I believe that. I believe that. I really do. The president even stopped the crowd from using his rocket man insult for diplomacy's sake. Now we have to be very nice. In the heart of steel country, the president boasted that his controversial move to impose tariffs on imported steel and aluminum will help American workers. Big, big, big. Your steel is coming back. Though he often takes on critics, no mention of the adult film star suing him. Stormy Daniels says they had a decade-old affair that the president denies. He did speak about his wife. Melania. Great, great first lady. She is great. You think her life is so easy, folks? To those who say his behavior is too much, he brought out robotic moves to play the part. I'm very presidential. Ladies and gentlemen. And reprised attacks on the media. I'm on Meet the Press, a show now headed by Sleepy Eyes Chuck Todd. He's a sleeping son of a I'll tell you then tease the red hat crowd that his slogan must change. Two years from now is going to be keep America great, exclamation point. So previewing a 2020 slogan, the president also talked about possible opponents from Oprah to Elizabeth Warren. And he did talk about this North Korea deal, serious business, expressing frustration that it hasn't remained in the news, giving him even more credit. Willie? Kelly O'Donnell at the White House this morning. Kelly, thanks very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.